Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of today's video is I have a pet update for you guys with Coda. So it has been a very long while since I did a pet update for Coda. Um, I think the first one that I did was introducing Coda, no, no. I think the first one that I did was introducing Coda to you guys when we first got him. So if you haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and link that up here for you guys. And then the following video, I believe, was doing a pet update with how Banks and Coda were getting along. So again, if you guys have not seen that video, I will link that one up here for you guys as well. My little Coda boy came flying up and I decided that it was time to do a pet update. Come here, Coda. Come here, handsome. Yes, good boy. Oh. Oh. So if you guys don't remember when we first got Coda, he was three months old and I will insert a picture somewhere here on the screen um, he was a little nugget he hid behind two half gallons of paint up from us on the farm when we went to go get him and he was just so 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 small just a little nugget and I realized today is January 1st of 2020 and Coda will be eight months this month on the, I would have to look when his birthday is. I can't remember. All of our pets' birthdays fall in the month of May. <coughs> and there's a lot of birthdays in May that I have, so the numbers get crazy. But he will be eight months this month in a couple days, and I just don't know what to do with myself. I believe this is the 13th. I think so. But he has gotten so big and he is so, so, so wicked smart, you guys. Like, when me and Jordan were looking up Lou Healers and I used to watch this channel, um, Liz and Lou. I will link it down below in the description bar for you guys. But um, she has a really good channel about her healer and he is a blue healer as well. And obviously his name is Lou. Um, but... Healers are very, very, very smart, high energy dogs. And me and Jordan took that with like, you know, a grain of salt, but I don't think we really realized what the heck we were getting ourselves into. Um, he is crazy, crazy smart. Um, I will show you guys some footage. I will see if Jordan would be so kind as to do his training with him. Sit. Good boy. Lay down. Go to lay down. Good boy. Go to roll over. Good boy. All right, shake. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Settle down. Come here. Wait. High five. Good boy. Calm down. Sit. Come here. Coda loves, loves, loves mental stimulation. He will do his training for, um, I, I would say, dare I say, hours if he could. If we would let him do it for that long, he, he would. But Jordan has him trained very well. He can do pretty much all of his tricks being told and he can also do them with just hand signs. I'm not necessarily saying sign language because that's not what it is, but we don't speak to him and he knows what hand signs mean. So we also taught him to ring the bells on our door when he has to go outside and go to the bathroom. That was fairly easy for him. Although he was always really good about potty training. Once he, you know, learned that he goes outside, he would go to the door and tell us that way anyways. I just want to put this out there. Um, blue healers are definitely not for everyone. 
I don't think we could have handled him in our apartment, so it's a, probably a good thing we got a house because they need space. They need to run. He runs non-stop and he is just go, 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 go. He wants to learn everything and anything. Right now we're currently trying to teach him to pick up his toys and we noticed him do that once by himself. I think I'd mentioned this in another video, but we're still trying to work on him with that. He is just crazy, crazy, crazy smart. Blue healers definitely are a very loyal kind of dog. Like at first when Coda was a puppy, he would kind of go to everybody at first and didn't really whatever. But then as he got a little bit older, he only really likes, he gets scared of everybody else pretty much. But as he gets older, he like gets scared of other people and will not go by them. And he just all of a sudden got this bark out of nowhere and he barks at other people which I'm kind of confused about because we keep him very social he's around other dogs and cats and he meets new people and animals all the time but it's not like he's aggressive towards them like I don't think he would bite them but he gets like barky and very scared so I think that's something we're just gonna have to accept with him and try to teach him not to do that like when we say stop or it's okay to cut that out but honestly from me my opinion I love that I love that he is hesitant of other people and only wants to be around us but I'm also thinking about his safety and if he does if he barks at the wrong person or you know does something like that I don't want him to suffer those consequences but enough of my rambling let me show you this hog go to come here Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So here is Coda, my big old boy. Pretty soon mommy won't be able to hold you like this. Don't flag me. He's just really, really hard to hold. But this is my baby. If you look at his eyes, oh, this side is all black. <laughs> Go to look at mommy. Oh, good boy. All right, go play. Definitely blue healers are, for, I mean, for us, that's our first dog that we had to handle. And then dogs are much different than cats too. So I, from my own personal experience, like I've grown up with dogs and cats and stuff my whole entire life. So it's not like I was totally clueless going into this and it's not like Jordan was either. Like I was saying, but from my own personal experience is I don't think a blue healer is a good starter dog because let me tell you his energy alone kind of tested our patience a little bit like I won't even lie like we didn't we did not think that they were that energetic healers are not a good starter dog because they are so energetic they're so hyper go 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 I don't want to settle down I need to play I need to play constantly I need to do something like when Coda was a puppy we thought for a long time he was not going to grow out of his biting like it was just it was beyond puppy teething and all that stuff because he just was so wound up and um I'm kind of sad to admit it but when he was a puppy I don't think we pl we played with him so much but I don't think we played with him enough and because like he is so energetic he needs to go just all the time and I feel like he you know if we would have played with him maybe a little bit more the biting wouldn't have been as bad or as serious if that makes sense but definitely I mean once he became he's not an adult but once his adult teeth came in and I really noticed that once DJ got Piper which if you guys haven't seen that video I will go ahead and link that up here for you guys um, but once DJ got Piper I feel like Coda really settled down and learned his biting control um, because when we did get him from a farm he did have his brothers and sisters and I'm sure they were puppy playing and he couldn't really gauge how pressure how much pressure his bites were and stuff but now he's really really good at that 
And before, when he was a pup, like a really little pup, he would not let us like pet him. He would start like biting us and nibbling on us because, he, and he didn't want us to show him affection or pet him really, but now he loves it. He wants to be pet. He wants to be, you know, played with. And I think it's good for healers to have somebody that matches their wavelength and their energy. And Piper definitely does that for Coda and Piper definitely gives Coda a huge <laughs> workout and makes him tired, which is good. But yeah, so I hope this video made some sense to you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any additional information about Blue Healers, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help and try to answer what I can from personal experience and what we've done or if you have any additional information about what to expect with them coming of age and all that fun stuff, let me know because we love pet, we love animals on this channel and I love getting tips, information, anything like that. It helps a million and it just never hurts to be more knowledge, more knowledgeable. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out because I make new videos for you guys every single week. Feel free to tap that little notification bell down there so you don't miss when I upload those new videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care until next time. Bye guys.